Hey there. What the f- What? You know, someone could be watching you from your webcam. Ah, you disabled the camera hardware. That's cool. What about the microphones though? They may be listening to your private conversation. Oh, okay, you're, you're disabling that hardware too. You're pretty smart. Well, that takes care of two problems, but you do know that there are devices out there that know when you're nearby, right? Really? Yep, and Google knows how to use it. Also, the Illuminati is real, but you are just a simulation. Wait. It's true, there are devices like the Nest Hub or particularly the Nest Hub Max, which is meant for security reasons that can monitor you constantly through a video feed. It has face recognition capabilities, meaning that it'll constantly monitor the room and identify people's faces so that it can identify strangers. And these devices can also detect if someone is nearby using ultrasonic sound waves. So someone from 9 to 5 Google reverse engineered an APK and they found a snippet of code called look and talk. It's pretty self-explanatory and it's meant for the Google Assistant. Now usually you need a hot word to activate the Google Assistant and then you give it a command. But Google tried to do something a couple of years ago using this look and talk functionality which has been called by different names. Like in some devices you may find a feature called Blue Steel which is a reference to Zoolander if you remember. It's the same thing, it uses the ultrasonic sensor capabilities to identify if someone is sitting nearby. So it will constantly monitor the video feed from the front camera and try to determine if you are trying to access the Google Assistant. It may false trigger as well. You just have to look at the device's screen and you will see a Google Assistant symbol pop up. You can then see a normal command and have it work as usual. Now they found that the video feed that's being captured will be kept on the device itself and will not be sent to Google servers. You know, just like most of the biometric data you have on your devices like your fingerprint, face data, irises, whatever, it is saved on the device itself and it's not uploaded to any of your accounts. So even if you get an exact same device and log in with the same account, your biometric data will not be there because it's not saved outside of the hardware. That is good in terms of security, but I never realized that now you don't even have to speak for Google Assistant to know you're doing something. Like you could be sitting there reading a book by yourself and maybe the front camera will turn on, see the book and give you recommendations as ads. I'm just saying like it can happen. It's not happening as of now. It has been like two years already and you know, they change their plans all the time. So there is no real reason why they would introduce it in the first place. I mean, Google has a lot of projects and they abandon most of them. So maybe they decided not to go with this, but you can still find it in some of your devices and turn it on. As long as it's in a device like the Nest Hub, which is intensely made for you know security and they value your personal data a lot, but I'm not sure about more devices like our smartphones implementing that. Our smartphones are already walking trackers, like they track our location, they track everything. So this is one thing that's left out, you know, constantly monitoring our video feed to see if we are looking for the Google Assistant. That's why I like Samsung's Bixby approach, well, at least their older approach. They had a dedicated button on the side near the volume buttons, which you can press and hold to activate Bixby. There is a hot word, but if you don't want to use it, you can press and hold to activate Bixby, say your command and let go, Bixby will automatically execute that command. And I use it most of the time, surprisingly. But yeah, like, what if your device knows that you're just holding it in your hand and you're about to do something? Like, what if that data is being captured as well? Now you can't even turn off the screen and sit next to it without it knowing. Like, that's a scary thought, isn't it? Of course, these devices don't have ultrasonic sensors, yet. But with the metaverse dawning upon us, I don't really know what will be our reality. You know, just something I found that I thought you should know, that Google does have the capability to just monitor you from your front camera and routinely activate Google Assistant based on what you might be thinking. But personally, yeah, I'm still keeping my location data off and I'll constantly be monitoring my voice history. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to myactivity.google.com and check out all the activity that you were doing that has been tracked. If you don't use the hot word on Google Assistant, I recommend deleting the voice enrollments. Anyway, one more step towards the completely virtual world that we are heading towards. Let me know what you think.